Vlogging. It's that window into the lives of the YouTubers you know and love. It seems like a win-win situation. You get to see what they're up to and all they have to do is just film their lives every day. Sounds really easy, doesn't it? Well, for some people it is, but for others it can be a huge strain and eventually they say enough is enough and they quit. Which big YouTubers have done this? Why did they possibly do that? My name is Danny Burke. Let's find out right now with our top 10 YouTubers who quit vlogging. Starting off at number 10, we have Wenji. Wenji is a very popular YouTuber with videos on life hacks, DIY videos and makeup tutorials that have got her over 4.4 million subscribers. Now she used to daily vlog on her personal channel as a way of showing fans another side to her but eventually started to vlog less and less. Some of her fans were wondering why this was happening and in September 2016 she explained that she was stopping daily vlogs because she was beginning to feel burnt out. Wenji said she stepped up the production value on her main channel Channel, which meant more work and left her, in her own words, like a zombie. She said nobody wants to see daily vlogs of a zombie, which is fair enough I guess, but a daily vlog of an actual zombie? I'd watch that. Moving on to number 9 now, we have Matthew Santoro. This Canadian is a huge YouTuber with over 5.6 million subscribers on his main channel where he makes all kinds of informative and educational videos for his viewers. But for those that wanted to see more of him, he had a second channel where he uploaded vlogs. They weren't always daily but Matthew kept them going for over 5 years. But then, in the summer of 2016, he abruptly stopped. He returned in September to explain why he quit vlogging, saying that even though he enjoyed it, he could no longer justify the hours put in compared to the views he was getting out of them. Matthew said he feels the only way to succeed with vlogs on YouTube these days is by being totally, totally open and sharing every single intimate detail of your life with the viewers and he felt that would be quite unhealthy for him to do that. Next up at number 8 now, we have Megan Rienx. Megan is a massively popular beauty, fashion and lifestyle guru on YouTube and also one of the longest running. She uploaded her first video back in June 2010. Now as Megan's popularity grew, she started to vlog but in March 2016, she uploaded a video called Why I Stopped Vlogging The Truth. She said she felt like she was sharing way too much of her personal life online. One example Megan gave was how she vlogged the entire process of her getting her nose job done from start to finish. Megan said she doesn't want to show people the intricate details of her life when she hasn't even figured out her own life yet. Ok, moving on to number 7 now, we have Zoella. This one was very temporary compared to some of the others on our list but it did happen. At the end of 2014, YouTube megastar Zoella started getting a lot of heat from fans and other people who felt betrayed that she had used a ghostwriter for her best selling book Girl Online. It sold 78,000 copies in its first week but Zoella received a huge backlash with some people saying she had not been honest and had deceived them. Now after all of this was over, Zoella announced that she was taking a break from YouTube and her vlogs. She eventually returned but not before making a lengthy blog post explaining how she was beginning to feel like the nasty comments were getting to her and she felt kind of stripped naked in front of millions and millions of people to the point where she couldn't even scroll down to look at the top comment anymore because she was scared it would be nasty. Coming in at the number 6 spot now, we have Sam Pepper. Sam Pepper is a famous British YouTuber who is well known for his prank videos but probably better known for being at the heart of a massive scandal where a number of women came forward accusing him of sexually assaulting them and also his very controversial killing best friend prank video. After this, Sam Pepper kind of disappeared off YouTube for a while. He has since returned to make videos on his main channel but his vlogging channel, 16 Bit Sam, is pretty much dead. In one video titled Why I Stopped Vlogging, Sam said one of the reasons he stopped is because after a long day he just wants to kind of relax and not work on his vlog. I think that's something that stops a lot of daily vloggers. There's a lot of unseen work that goes on behind the scenes. Ok, next up at number 5 we have Hannah Minx. Hannah Minx was a very popular YouTuber who used to upload videos focusing on Japanese culture and teaching the Japanese language to her viewers. She had a core group of very loyal followers but also drew a lot of attention from people who were physically attracted to her, if you know what I mean. You'll know what I mean if you've ever seen one of her videos or gone into the comments section. Her most popular video got well over 10 million views so she was very well known but in 2013 
she just stopped it all. She stopped YouTube, she stopped vlogging, and she never really explained why. She just vanished. There were a number of theories floating about. Some people even thought she had died. But the most credible theory came from her own Facebook, where people shared screenshots showing that she simply got married, had children, and decided to leave the YouTube life behind. Moving on to number four, we have Shane Dawson. Shane is one of the longest running YouTubers on the site, and for much of that time, he's been known for his comedy skits with his many different characters. People eventually wanted to see more of the man behind the mask, which led Shane to start daily vlogging. In August 2012, he uploaded a video explaining that he would no longer be doing daily vlogs anymore because they felt too kind of routine. He said a lot of the vlogs would be almost identical to each other with very similar content. Shane said that when he stopped watching his own videos because for him they were just too long, boring, or repetitive, he knew it was time to quit the daily vlogs. Coming in at number three, we have boyfriend versus girlfriend. When Jesse Wellens and Gina Smith uploaded a video called A New Chapter on May 28, 2016, YouTube kind of went into meltdown. The couple had been arguably the most popular daily vloggers on the planet, with millions of adoring fans. The video explained that the vlogs, as everyone knew them, were coming to an end because the couple was breaking up. The reason? Well, it seems like the daily vlogging itself was to blame. They said that sharing their lives with everyone every single day had consumed them to the point where they would be living their life through their vlogs, worrying about every single shot, sometimes even going to different places just so they would have an interesting vlog for that day, even if they didn't want to. They said it was toxic, not healthy, and not sustainable. The fact that it helped bring the end of their relationship seems to be proof of that. Next up at number two now, we have PewDiePie. I don't need to explain who PewDiePie is, obviously. Everyone knows who he is, but not everyone might be aware of his vlogs. The series was called Birdabo, and PewDiePie announced he was ending it in a video called called I Quit Brackets For Now. He explained that the vlogs were stressing him out, they were affecting the people around him, and that they were kind of forced and not very fun. So, what was the point of continuing them? At the end of it all, PewDiePie said he was disappointed because he and some other people had put so much work into them, but he simply couldn't continue the vlogs if he wanted to keep up with his other commitments. Despite his disappointment in himself, his fans showed an outpouring of support and understanding for his decision. And finally now, at number one, we have Casey Neistat. On November 19th, 2016, Casey Neistat stopped his daily vlogs. If you don't know who he is, he is probably the most popular, but definitely the most professional vlogger on YouTube. Or rather, ex-vlogger now, I guess. This was the final video of his daily vlogging series, which helped draw in almost 6 million subscribers to the channel, who loved his professional, original video making mixed with his infectious personality. It was simply titled, I'm Ending the Vlog, and he gave the reason that nobody else on this list has. He said that daily vlogging was just not challenging him creatively anymore. Now, Casey claimed he started the vlog in the first place as a way of pushing himself and now that he had achieved that success, it had just become too easy to do it, and he had become too comfortable, which, for him, was not a good thing if he wanted to keep growing as an artist. He explained that he knew it was a risky decision to take, but one that he knew he had to do if he wanted to stay true to himself. Alright guys, that was our list of vloggers that quit. If there's one thing we've learned, it's that vlogging, particularly daily vlogging, I think, can end up feeling like a job that puts a strain on people's relationships, can affect their mental health, maybe let people see too much into their lives, or not challenge them creatively. Does that sound fun? What do you think the good things about vlogging are? Maybe some of you guys watching this vlog, so yeah, leave your thoughts in the comment section below, I'd love to hear them. My name is Danny Burke, and I'll see you all, as ever, in the next video.